Hello guys, welcome back to Husky Squad. I'm Victoria and today we are doing a very special video that we're so happy to share with you. Today is Titus's six month anniversary since he got injured, since he had his ACL injury. And today we're going to show you the incredible progress. And yes, Titus is officially recovered. For those of you guys who are new to this channel, maybe you're bumping into this video as the first video on our channel. Let me fill you in really quick. Titus sustained his second ACL injury. The first one was five years ago. We recovered him naturally. Six months ago, he sustained another injury on his other leg. And we chose to go the natural route without surgery and incredible different therapies, custom braces, hydrotherapy, working with an amazing holistic vet, working with a fantastic team of rehabilitation specialists. And today we are here. Titus is back. He's back on the trail. We're out together as a family. He's one happy pupper. And it's the best feeling in the world. Guess what, guys? He's not wearing his braces anymore. Titus has also been really working on his muscles and he, his atrophy is pretty much gone. He had a bit of muscle atrophy, but now what a better place than doing this, hiking and being outdoors. We're doing plenty of miles now with Titus being fully recovered, going from using three legs only to using his four legs properly in the Swiss Alps. This has been our dream for so many years to do this together as a family, to bring the squad to the Swiss Alps. And now we are here and this is where Titus gets the hike, right buddy? He, he's the happiest pupper. He's doing so good, so good. And it feels really good to be back. We weren't even sure if it's going to be possible to recover Titus naturally at this point, given his age, given that the injury was pretty severe, a diagnosis. I mean, it's hard to tell if it was a full tear or if it was a pretty bad partial tear. I think the only one of the only ways to analyze this is through an MRI. There's so much on this subject about ACL injuries and unfortunately, the TPLO surgery is the only route that vets recommend. And when I started looking into the TPLO surgery and how invasive that is and how many side effects it has down the road, we started researching a different route. We really wanted to see if there was another option. And that's what we feel that every dog parent has a right to know. So if you are in this situation, if your dog has an ACL injury and you want to learn more about the subject, this subject is huge. It's not just one video. And that is why we have a whole playlist and a blog on our channel on this subject. And we put them all in different videos, documented every step of the way, the things we looked out for, the things that were working, the things that made Titus improve really fast. And you can see if this is the route that you want to take. The one thing I do want to say on this video is that what we learned is that taking the route that we took, which is all the steps described in the other videos and in our blog, if that doesn't work and if you didn't see progress, that's when you can go the surgery route if you really have to. We were initially reluctant to even put this information and put the fact that Titus is injured on our channel and on Instagram because we knew that there would be some people that would criticize us that were attempting natural route of recovery instead of the so-called gold standard TPLO surgery. We knew that we may get some of that, but at the same time, we really wanted to share our truth. We wanted to share with you what we're doing and we want to inspire you that you can always search for an alternative. Yes, surgery can be and is amazing in emergency situations, but more and more dog parents, more and more veterinarians who are switching to holistic practices realize that you don't always have to put a knife to a situation. You don't have to cut everything up. You can go with patience. 
you can go with traditional very old practices that's been working for thousands of years like Chinese medicine for different situations that we've already used there's so many ways to heal and you don't always have to put a knife to a situation be sure to go check out the entire playlist to go check out our blog to see how we did this so you can decide for yourself what's best for you and your dog don't forget share this video show people that this is possible and let us know what you think on the subject now after you've been watching all the videos on Titus's recovery. We're out in the Swiss mountains. Let me show you how Titus is doing. Are we going to the left or straight? Again? Well, is the cow on our path? The cow is on our path. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Wait, I think it's going down. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Territory. Should we go up this road instead? Let's see how far this goes. Let's yeah, we could. Come on. Come on. Where is she at? Come all the way. Did 
There she is, look at her. chance plus it's not fair you know they, they have their little family here so just let them be in peace but find a different way there's plenty of mountains around us <laughs> squat that was really cool <laughs> yeah huskies versus swiss cows yeah swiss cows won definitely because they had horns and they're a lot bigger <laughs> and they know how to run these mountains <laughs> 